the 2024 Tour of Oman. Hell of a ride. I don't even know the overall classification. But when it goes up, it's you know, 12, 30, you send the whole way. Guys are collapsing left and right. Dude, these kind of races, it's not for free. We have to work for it. Oh, hard climb. We're at the top of Green Mountain, stage five of the 2024 Tour of Oman, and we see Celebration right there. Adam Yates, favorite coming into the race, and pulled it off after his teammate, Finn Fisher Black, won a stage earlier in the race at Curia in the Red Leaders jersey today. Well, it's Adam Yates, rides clear for the stage win and will get their red overall leaders jersey and the classification of this year's Tour of Oman. Second on the stage, Jan Hurt riding for Sudal Quickstep. Adam's gonna be super pleased. It was his twin brother winning just about two weeks ago in the Alula Tour. New Zealander Finn Fisher Black on the ground in the leaders jersey suffered so much, defended it well today, congratulated by his teammate Adam Yates, who took over the Red Leaders jersey after that ride, the stage win. Adam, you come in here with all the pressure on your shoulders, you pulled it off, congratulations, and you took it from your own teammate as well. It's been a hell of a ride for your team here this week. How was it? Yeah, we knew at the beginning Finn was in great shape. You know, he's already won two stages. Oh, I won Muscat Classic and then one, one stage here. So we tried to set up for Finn, but uh, you know, he's actually quite a big guy, so. When it's super steep like this, it's uh, not so easy for him. So, But he did an awesome ride and, uh, you know, he's shown throughout the week that he's a uh, super high level. So for sure you're going to see more of him uh, this year. Green Mountain is like the Alpe d'Huez here for the Tour of Oman. How was that climb? How hard was that climb? Yeah, super steep. I mean, uh, there's a few like uh, flat sections so you can try and recover a bit. But uh, yeah, when it goes up, it's, you know, it's 12, 13 percent the whole way. So uh, yeah, it's a tough climb. It's the first time here for me, so I didn't really know the, the road at all. but. Yeah, it's been good to, uh, to come here and uh, experience a new race, a new, uh, a new country, and uh, to come out with a win is uh, pretty nice. And uh, this, you talked about on the eve of the race, you came here as preparation for the UAE Tour, but it's been more than that. This is an important win for you. Yeah, it's nice to win. I mean, yeah, like I said from the beginning, UAE is quite a big goal uh, for the team. You know, last year it was like a full crosswind after 50 meters, so uh, I said to the team I needed like a warm-up race, and, uh, you know, so far this has been the perfect race for us, so... Uh, yeah, super happy, and uh, hopefully uh, next week in UAE will be uh, a good race. Jan didn't make it easy on you there, Jan Hurt. Yeah, exactly. We knew somebody, somebody would try. Uh, we weren't sure who it was going to be, whether it was going to be someone from Bora or someone from Quickstep. So uh, we just have to be attempted. We, we uh, kept the pace high with uh, Diego at the bottom. And then, yeah, about two games to go, I took over just to make, make it even a little bit harder. Um, and then, yeah, we were, we were quite, quite happy with the pace there until, uh, until Jan atta uh, attacked. And, uh, yeah, it's like that. I mean, uh, you know, it was not, these, these kind of races, it's not for free, you know, so we had to work for it and uh, yeah, it paid off. Congrats. You got mud on your sunnies, on your jersey, it looks more like Paris-Roubaix than the Tour of Oman. I mean, yeah. talk about that final climb that lead up to it. We saw the water on the road, the rocks. Was that difficult to navigate? Uh, today, not so much. It was, it was all right, but, uh, you know, the last couple of days has been, uh, the weather's been so bad with the rain and stuff, you know, the roads are covered with uh, water or mud or, or anything, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's why the, the stages have been shortened, but uh, like I just said a second ago, you know, it's been a nice race for us. We've uh, come out with two wins, or well, three wins now, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we came here with a, a team of young guys as well. We had the two guys from UAE, uh, they had, you know, a real nice experience. So yeah, it's been a good week for us. We just spoke with the stage winner right there, and now overall winner Adam Yates. Right behind, uh, we see the UAE boys just catching their breath, destroyed from this climb up here. Green Mountain, up in the mountains, the high mountains. We're up at around 1,200, 1,300 meters in this mountain range. Inland from Muscat, the capital of Oman, another Uno X rider pulls in. Right behind us, we got American Luke Lampertu just pulled in after a hard day of out racing in the Green Points jersey, uh, struggling his way up the Green Mountain climb. All the riders are coming in one after another. One of the Omani riders, Lotto Destiny rider. Yeah, for hard climb. Uh... Yeah, but we had Jan second, so I think, uh, again, a strong performance from the team. Uh, yeah, we can be happy with the week. Was that, uh, was that the plan with uh, Jan Hurt, also Vince Sevenet, were the two guys coming into this final climb? Yeah, we were looking at having three guys come into the climb as well as uh, Mazna, and yeah, I think we, uh, we did that, and we had two guys in the front on the climb, so yeah, it was perfect. Guys are collapsing left and right coming over the line. Uh, it's a tough climb. What do you compare this one to? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a lot different than any of the climbs you do in Europe. Super steep, but big road, but it doesn't look super steep. And then you ride it, and it's insanely steep. So uh, hard climb. I can't imagine doing 7Ks more to the very top. You're, in, you're ending your Oman trip here 
what indicators have you got both out of the flats and on this climb like this because climbs are important as you have these races coming up yeah i think i've showed i've improved climbing for the season and hopefully that'll help me uh survive to do some more sprints and the more finals you race the better chance you have of results so uh i think being able to survive these finals will be important for me being able to climb better in the future you gave adam a run for his money uh what were the tactics out there and what went right what went wrong yeah i mean they had uh, red jersey so we couldn't wait for something because the uh, fisher black had 19 seconds advantage so we couldn't wait for a sprint or something so we just i mean i just try to from two kilometers to go make make it harder and yeah Adam is, he came with me, and then he was stronger in the final. I assume that gave Adam a bit of a right to kind of set on your wheel a bit, or was he also contributing well to the pace? Well, no, it's, it was only me on the front, because I understand he had he has a red jersey behind him, so he had no rush to, to go somewhere. So, yeah, the job was on me. You guys came in here with, uh, of course, Mesnada, Ben Sevenat, and yourself, as the guys that could hit out on this stage. When did you know you had it today uh, and you could go on the strike? Yeah, we, we knew it already before uh, the race that us free, we can uh, try to do GC and, and yeah. I felt already before the race that I'm uh, this year in good shape. So I wanted to do a good race and yeah, on uh, other appeal finish was canceled. So it was only possibility for me to do something today. So I was focused for today and to try to make a good race. You got a lot of mud on your face. Yeah, it's still uh, some roots are still dirty, but but we can be happy that at least this climb we did. Hey, your 19-year-old teammate right there, Paul, off to your left, won a stage. 21-year-old teammate Luke Lamperti. We're all feeling older, but as the days go on, what do you have to say about these young guys? Yeah, now it's, the cycling is changed, and and uh, we are like so like quick step. We are really lucky to have these two guys with us because yeah, like first year of uh, professional racing, and they are already uh, winning races and be almost every stage on podium. That's incredible, and they are they have a really big future. I think we just got a word with Jan Hurt from the Sudal Quick Step team, especially talking about his younger teammate riders that are coming up. It's been a successful week at the Tour of Oman for the team. Even if he didn't pull off the stage win today, he gave Adam Yates a run for his money. He was explaining how Adam Yates was able to ride a little bit defensively with Fisher Black uh, in the red jersey back behind, and it played out as it played out. Frankly, Adam, had he not won the overall, had he not won the final stage, it would have been a loss for him here in the Tour of Oman, coming in as the top favorite. As is our job, it's always difficult to know what's going on when we're at the top of the mountains. We don't have television coverage, we don't have internet, so I don't even know the overall classification standings now. All I know is Adam is in the race lead. We're gonna hop in the car, get down there, get on the internet and find out the situation. Well, we've arrived here at the base of the Green Mountain Climb, heard some traditional music from the Omani players there, and looked at our phones to get an idea of the general classification. After all the dust was settled in, well, UAE Team Emirates, they came, they saw, they conquered. It was Adam Yates, the favorite, coming into this five-day stage race. Six, if you count the Muscat Classic opener that his teammate Finn Fisher Black won. He won there on the Kuryat stage as well. But all eyes were on the Green Mountain stage. That's the big mountain stage. And that's where all the time was going to be made, if it was going to be made. And it was Adam Yates hitting out the favorite, hitting hard. Jan Hurt was the closest to follow, the closest to match, and it paid off, earning him a second overall when we looked at the classification there on our phone as they set up the podium here for the top three spots overall. And wouldn't you know it, another UAE Team Emirates rider there on the third step for the podium. And it's none other than Finn Fisher Black, who was working hard all week long. That also earned him the green points jersey, taking it off the shoulders of our American friend, Luke Lamperti of Sudal Quick Step. And in fourth overall, another UAE Team Emirates rider, Diego Olisi, last year winning the Curiat stage that Finn Fisher Black won this year. But here in Oman, Adam Yates made his mark. It was a race, an important race for him to win, not only for Oman, but also looking ahead to the sponsor's home race, the UAE Tour, coming up just in one week's time. Adam Yates, stage winner last year in Bilbao, yellow jersey, twin brother Simon Yates, who won in the Saudi Tour, 
wins here in the 2024 Turbo Mon.